Alright, so I want to just uh, show you guys a little bit of a difference here in um, one of the advanced tools that I have built into this uh, Flurry script. So you can see on these um, these ones over here, uh, they kind of got a kicked down bend here, and there's actually another kicked bend um, right here. So it actually kicks up a little bit, and it flattens out, and then it kicks down, goes this way. Uh, the rest of these are planner bends, uh, but I want to show you a little bit um, of a different way, a more advanced uh, tool that's built into this to help you deal with some of these things um, that you're, you're going to encounter. So for the first one, we'll just run um, one uh, script <coughs> uh, the, the way it is normally built. And this is going to be um, not normalized. So then we're just going to go into the script and change it to normalize these bends in a second. All right, so you can see how that handled that. And now we're just going to step into the script here. All right, so now that we're in here, um, we're just going to show you how to uh, normalize the kick bends. Uh, you would just use this uh, tool right here and just switch it to true. Uh, so we're going to normalize the kick bends. <clears throat> so we're just going to select these ones just like we did before. And. We will set here and all right. <clears throat> so you can see here um, the difference in these two slurries now is that one is normalized and the other is not. Uh, you can see um, I guess we're going to have to move this over a little bit so you can see a little better. But you can see here uh, that this one goes uh, straight down uh, which is perpendicular to the x y plane, the ground level and it is uh, parallel to the z-axis or the vertical axis, um, which can be helpful in um, making your slurry uh, behave a little bit better when you have all these kicked bends. Uh, notice that when you don't uh, normalize the bends that kick, you've got kind of a double-edged um, kink in the slurry as it wraps around uh, the kicked bends just because of the nature of how it is created right so as we're going through it, imagine if we're traveling down this path and we're trying to now go two directions down and to the side at an angle uh, you get kind of some funny business going on there um, but with this uh, side over here, whoops, you can see that it is much more <clears throat> uh, normalized. So if we go to a top view, perhaps you can see a little better, but yeah, right here you can see this is kicked at the end and this is just straight down, uh, which is, it helps us uh, pour the concrete, or at least it can. Um, but yeah, you can see here that coming around the corner, we got some craziness going on. And here, the edge is uh, perfectly straight up and down. Um, again, it's not perfect just because of the nature of the uh, way kicked bends are uh, and the geometry that goes into it and having to wrap around uh, that bend on the inside. But on the outside, we can make it nice and neat. So you don't have to use it. Um, this does uh, essentially cover uh, the kicked bends 
Um, it looks a lot neater actually in uh, deeper slurries, uh, which is two or more levels of conduit deep. Um, the ribbon slurries, the ones that are just parallel to each other, uh, they don't have necessarily have to be planar, but the ones they, they all do have to be parallel to each other in all sections. Uh, they behave a little bit um, uh, less fun in the corner here, but right there it, it happens pretty good. So that's one of the more advanced features. Um, another uh, feature that we have uh, that I'll show you is the, uh, let's see, what else do we have? Uh, reverse direction of the sweep. Um, basically what this does is it takes each um, run of conduit separately and it says, okay, where is the start and where is the end? depending on how you drew the conduit. And this script takes all the conduits that you have selected and basically points them all the same direction so that you can create a nice smooth um, sweep of the, of the um, slurry over the, over the conduits. However, if it's really funny um, and you're just not getting a good, uh, a good slurry, you can actually re reverse the direction of the sweep using this button and that'll go from it'll take the other end of the conduit runs and start over there and run the sweep back the other direction and sometimes that helps to smooth it out uh, and give you some better results that you're looking for so that tool is added in there to run that you just toggle back and forth um, reversing it each time you do it um, <clears throat> This uh, node here is the minimum distance in feet uh, between the start points. So there, I had to actually create a parameter that said that all starting points need to be within uh, 10 feet of, of any random start point. So if any start points are outside of 10 feet, uh, if you have a huge... Um, bank of conduits that need to be run and um, from any random one to any f far one is more than 10 feet you might want to increase this a little bit but essentially it, it, it is saying that but you don't want to increase it too much because essentially it's saying that over here at this end all of these conduits endpoints should be over here but way over there at the other end which is maybe 100 feet away that's the end point, the ones that are here clustered together are the start point. This is the essentially the radius of the um, start points need to be within each other in order for it to work. And if you have any questions, just let me know. I'll, I'll come over and help you manipulate it to give you the right results. Um, what else do we have? Uh, the ex extrusions at the beginning and at the end. Uh, in, uh, again, you just start point and end point to your slurry. So this one is at the beginning. Uh, how many feet you want to extend past uh, the any any random it chooses for you at random one of the uh, conduits at the end, and it goes five feet past that. You can adjust it here, tell it three feet, two feet, zero feet, whatever you want. Uh, and this one's at the end, so you can actually this is what creates the parametric. Uh, result at the endpoints. And uh, down here, as we saw in a previous video, this is how we run the uh, loft to the concrete below the below the deck. So that's all the advanced features. Um, down here we have uh, th this is a debugging platform. This is more uh, for me. If you're having trouble, I can come in here and get some uh, make some changes to the controls and get some more information that I need to help debug your slurry if it's not particularly working very well for you. So that's generally for me. Um, and yeah, that's it.